When they told me about the mission, I thought they were crazy. We've all heard stories about time travel, but here were these guys, scientists and top brass, telling me we could do it for real. But they weren't crazy. They had seen Eon. Eon was discovered here, in the wastelands of Siberia during the First World War. Luckily, the guy who found it was one of ours, U.S. Major John Peters. He got it shipped back home where it was classified top secret and taken to Area 51. Our scientists had little problem working out how to start it up, and they found that objects placed inside it simply disappeared. After experiments with radioactive isotopes, the scientists finally uncovered the machine's purpose. The Eon is a time machine. The implications are incredible. In Eon, we have the potential to erase every tragedy from our history. But though we knew what the machine could do, we were unable to use it. The fuel in Eon was never analyzed, and it was used up in the experiments. More didn't exist. Until now. Until we discovered Cyberite. This compound contains elements that have never been seen before. When it was first discovered in Siberia, the geologists feared it was radioactive because it felt warm to the touch. Gingerly, they passed the Geiger counter over it, but they didn't even hear it crackle. Back at the lab, they immersed a small piece of it in a beaker of cold water. The water boiled so furiously it almost exploded, shattering the beaker. The cyberite fragment sat in the middle of the debris unchanged, unaffected. In the presence of cyberite, the hydrogen atoms had fused to form helium and released incredible energy in the process. In our hands, we have the catalyst for cold fusion and more power than mankind will ever need. There's only one problem. The reserves are buried deep in the ground in Siberia, Russia. That's when I was assigned the Mission Globe Mine. Our first task was to extract enough cyberite to power the Eon for several journeys. Our second task was a little more complicated. The Earth looked pretty different then. The journey from Siberia to Alaska could be made by land. And that would be our task, to mine the incredible reserves of cyberite and transport them to Alaska. It'll take the rest of our lives. But when this day comes around again, the cyberite will belong to America. Departure commences any moment. There are 20 soldiers ahead of me, but that doesn't mean they'll be arriving first. The Eon produces a scattering effect, so we may end up miles apart and divided by several years. The only thing worth knowing about the Eon is that it's a one-way ticket. That's why they chose someone like me, loyal to the job and my country, with no living relatives, nothing, and no one that can't be left behind. Then, last night I met her, Sergeant Joan Ferguson. She's on the support crew here and won't be coming with us. I feel as if I've known her all my life, just my luck. I finally meet the right woman, and it's two million years too late. It's too late to turn back now. I'm entering the Eon. My life in this time is about to end, and a new one will begin a long, long time ago. Group 9, prepare now. Donaldson, Williams, McMillan, Sikorsky, Phillips, Grant, go to Eon. So, this is it. I'm going to miss you, John. Maybe you could get transferred. My work's here. I know that. I just wish we'd met some other time. Oh, maybe we will. Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. Everybody ready? If you want to quit, quit now. You ain't got the balls, we don't want you going. So what the hell are the women doing here? We may have less between our legs than you, but a hell of a lot more between the ears, Sikorsky.
This may be the last entry I make. This morning, CNN announced the Russians reached Indianapolis. We have to evacuate while we can. Being with Joan, having a family has meant everything to me. But each morning, I've woken up wondering if I betrayed the future of mankind for my own happiness. Now I think I know the answer.